Hey there, my name is Vex, and welcome back, ladies and gentlemen, to Let's Play The End Is Nigh, the newest game by Edmund McMillan and Taylor, sorry, Tyler Glale. I should do a better job of remembering that guy's name. The, the thing is, I'm used to uh, just saying Edmund, because Edmund usually heads up the most of the stuff that he's done. Maybe that's not true, though, because he worked with... I'm gonna forget this guy's name, too, but for Super Meat Boy, um, something like Tony Ruff refines or refines or something like that i watched the indie game movie documentary wonderful movie by the way you should check it out and I, I can't remember the guy's name because edmund honestly is just so much more famous which i'm not trying to overshadow the others by saying that but i just mean it is it is the case everybody knows who uh edmund is okay this volume is incredibly loud this again is just one of those games that the decibels is is way louder than than most games um which is okay all right ladies and gentlemen we're back into this we're on overflow two i need to do a good job of i need to do a better job of seeing how many levels there actually is so according to this there's one two three four five six seven eight nine ten so there's 20 levels per map so that would mean that we would have no that's not true though because Based on that, uh, you would think with all those black dots that are filled up that we're on level 10, but we're not. We're on level 2. So, I don't know. I still don't really understand, like, how many levels there are or how you can figure out how many levels there are. But it's probably something really simple that I'm not just grasping, which is the YouTuber's curse, the, the Let's Player's curse, and one that I'm all too familiar with. All right, ladies and gentlemen, we have a tumor directly above us, but I'm not sure exactly how to get it. The only thing that could change is if we grab onto something and something changes we can go into the water for a second we will burn to death there is a little alcove down there to the bottom left let's try that and see if there's anything doesn't look like it we just exploded because we're we have this new um water mechanic oh something does drop when i hold on to something oh well i'm just going to assume that we can't get that tumor which is a really dumb assumption because of course we can get the tumor but maybe it'll change if i hold on to all of these things is there any other little secret that I see with my eyes? I don't see anything, and I really don't see how to get that tumor. Let's let's think for a second. Like, the only thing would be if we could get into the side, the top right side up there, and then go over to the left side if there was, like, a hidden passageway. But I'm not even seeing how to get to the top right side. I really don't know how to get that tumor. All right, we're just going to keep moving on then. Um, like, even if we go further below, I don't think there's anything that we can do, really. All right, let's move. We just got to watch out, uh, watch out for the dropping stuff. And that seemed kind of difficult to get past. That, uh, this spike right over here. Like, I don't think we're going to have enough air. Oh, there we go. We can hold on to this. Does that mean, does that change anything? No, I'm not seeing any way. Okay, well, we've spent too much time. There is a hook right there. Look, look up right above us and then to the left a little bit. There's a hook, uh, in the middle of those spikes, which makes me think... That if we hold on or something to one of these, something might change. Aha! Okay, well, at least we found a secret. Okay. Shouldn't be too hard. Yet I've died three times already. So, okay, so the way these guys work is they keep alternating, obviously. That's fine. Should be able to get past them. And thank you very much. All right, we just need to get out now. So, yeah, if you jump anywhere near them... The reverse where they are. So just got to be very careful. And like that, we are done. We got ourselves the mega tumor, but I still don't know how to get that other tumor, man. <sighs> you know it's an interesting game when you actually want to get tumors, but can't figure out how. Now, why is there a spike there? That's so odd. I'm going to try to grab it. I know I'm going to die. Yeah. What is this one, man? That's so weird. Oh, well, we're just going to move on. Uh... Leave a comment if you think you know how to get that one, because I sure as hell do not. All right, what about this one? Let's see. There's definitely a secret hidden passage. Uh, passage. Probably if I drop down here and go to the right a little bit. So let's try that first and foremost. Okay, I think. Uh, oh, 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 I see. Okay, yeah. And then let's go like this, and then we just have to watch out. Okay, we have to do this in rapid success. Uh, succession. Just like this. Okay, as long as we keep jumping out, we're all good. Oh, oh, okay, still got it. Now, I kind of want to check to see if there's a hidden place down there, but we just got a Mega Tumor, so probably not, right? All right. Oh, boy. All right, that was cutting it pretty close. Okay, and back over. There we go. All right, Tumor is grabbed. If you guys don't know what I'm talking about, down there to the bottom right, that little section that leads down, might be a Mega Tumor down there. I still don't really have a grasp on 
how often the Mega Tumors show up, but I feel like it's at, like, every other level. Okay, let's drop down here. This guy's gonna go up there. Oh, okay, I pulled it off. Anyways. All right, so we've got what looks like two Mega Tumors, but I'm assuming it's just reflected. Yeah, I'm noticing it's all reflected. So the, the tumor is directly below us. The only way to get in there is if there's a hidden alcove somewhere over here. All right? Huh. Okay, these are always kind of tricky because I don't, I just don't see how the hell we're supposed to get in there. I mean, unless we go from over here and there was still like another hidden passage that led into the part over to the right. But I don't think that's the case. So like how, I mean, how are we supposed to get that? Let's see, is there another little hidden alcove? I mean, literally, unless if we go to the right and there's a hidden alcove and then we go all the way to the bottom and go all the way back to the left and then go upwards, but I severely doubt that's the case. So let's just try to... Oh, okay, gotta be careful here. Yeah, all right, this one's a little tricky. But if I'm fast, actually, I should be able to just do this. Oh, I didn't see the last guy. Okay, you got me, last guy, good for you. But if I just wait a little bit, there we go. Now, okay, so yeah, there's nothing. There's no... Oh, wait. Hold the phone. Oh, it just opened it up. Okay, so we had to get to the end, and then it opens it up. All right, so we have... Ugh. All right, this one's going to be a little annoying, but shouldn't be too difficult. Now, the question is... Okay, so we can't get to the last section before waiting. Okay, so we have to do one of these numbers. All right, now that thing goes down there. We have to watch out because some of the spikes are close to the edge. So we have to get this guy moving. Get this guy moving again. Ugh! Yeah, this one's annoying. I might have to actually cut. Now, what actually activates the moving? I guess it's holding on to that, that ledge over to the right. Like this. Ugh! I'm trying to hold the right trigger so that I grasp the ledge, but I end up just dive bombing into the spikes. Again, I did it! Alright, last try keep screwing myself over oh my god all right I'll see you guys in a second all right that one was a little tough uh, for sure one of the toughest tumors we've seen in a, in a while but you know what they say tough tougher tumors last longer I don't know this game is making me say some weird things all right we are done boom okay what do we have here new enemy type these guys have a smog cloud around them which I'm gonna assume does the same thing as that poisonous water now do we have a secret I feel like it's definitely time for a Mega Tumor. So I think we want to explore over here to the right somewhat. Let's get up here, get out of this thing. Now I don't think we'll even have enough time, although there is a hook right over here. Okay, I thought that might actually do something. But that's not the case. Hmm, all right, let's just try exploring a little bit over here. Okay, I'm going to assume that there's actually not a secret over here to the right. We need to jump on this hook and then jump over here. Now, I feel like... All right, so we need to be really quick to get ourselves that mega... Or that normal tumor. Oh, yeah, that's too long. Hmm. Okay. The timing for this poison stuff is, is really, really tight. Okay, but we can get over here. Now, how are we going to get that tumor? We just got to jump over... Okay, let's try this. Dang it, it's not high enough. I thought that might be high enough. Okay, that's fine. Oh! Gotta use the hook. Then up here, then over here. Okay. Well, I don't think our arcing jump is, is high enough either. Let's try it. Ugh. Okay, there we go. We got it. Cool. No! I... Oh, man. I gotta remember, like, if we just hold it, we, we automatically hold on. We don't actually have to hold the right trigger. Okay, now here's another little thing here, right? We need a key... I didn't try actually slamming down like this, but that doesn't do anything either. So once we have the key, I assume that just leads to another hidden area with a mega tumor, right? I'm not exactly sure. Okay, where is our normal tumor this time? He's over there to the right. Now, do we see any secrets? Not seeing any obvious secrets. So these guys are moving in a certain amount of area, and as time goes on, they're filling up the screen with more and more stuff. So if we exit and then come back... Okay, we got past that guy easily enough. That activates the thing that falls down. Now, how in the world are we going to grab that tumor without falling to our death? I have no idea. Let's just go for it. Yeah, that definitely leads to our death. So unless there's a hidden little... I mean, this thing moves. Let's activate that first. Okay. 
Gotta like jump over this guy and then jump out. But what, have, what does moving those two things do? I don't understand. How in the world are we supposed to get this tumor? And for that matter, how in the world are we supposed to get to the other side? We can't bounce on top of that guy's head. Um? I'm kind of at a loss here. I don't even see a way to get to the end of the level, much less the tumor. Is there something I missed? I mean, we could wait until the little block above us falls and then jump from that over the other side. Maybe, but even that feels like it's, it's not going to work. Let's just do this and maybe hold on to some. How? What? Okay. Well, let's activate this. Now let's get on this and let's go over here. Nope, there's still nothing to hold on to. We keep resetting the level by accident because we get too far to the left. Oh, uh, what in the world are we supposed to do? I guess I could try bouncing on the guy's head, but I'm pretty sure that does nothing. Yeah, let's try it. Oh, okay, never mind. It does do something. Look at that. All right, so that means we just need to bounce on this guy's head. To bounce back. And we'll just be able to bounce back onto the thing. Now, can we... Okay, let's try this. All right, well, there we go. Classic case of me overthinking something. That, that's never happened in my life before. Just kidding, it happens like every single day of my life. Okay, same situation here. We have to like just time it perfectly. We can hold on to this ledge though and then do one of these maneuvers. Hmm, now that's gonna be difficult unless we... Okay, let's just immediately jump like that and then like that. I mean, we can get over the, the smog if we keep jumping. Oh, I see, so we just need to... This guy is a trampoline. Oh, come on! Oh, come on! Thank you. Don't worry, your uh, your video did not glitch there. I did repeat myself twice. I do want to hold on to this hook because I feel like something's going to happen. Then what's the point of the hook, man? To draw people in. The crowd shouts back. Alright, it's been quite a while since we've gotten ourselves a Mega Tumor. I feel like maybe if we get on one of those two platforms up there, we'll be able to jump higher and thus lead ourselves to a secret level. Other than that, we've got a lot of hooks that maybe if we hold on to, they move something. Let's try this one down here first and foremost. It does activate that block down there. Okay, let's jump over. Let's jump like right around here. It's a tricky jump to make, but we got it. Now from here, we have to jump over here. And then there's some smog below, but if we can make it up and over and then grab ourselves the hook, like this. Okay, it actually worked out surprisingly. Then over here. Now, I think the game wants me to jump up here and then onto the guy and then up and over. So I suppose we'll try that. Ooh, but he's in the midst of all that crap, so we need to like jump on him when he's like this. Nope, he's still not high enough. Is there any way to get over this? No, and the smogs and everything, so we just need to time this perfectly. Like, right about here. Okay, just like that, that works. Now, if we go up, there's nothing so far, so let's go over here. And how are we gonna, we need to grab the tumor and then fall straight down onto the hook. Nope, fall down! Ugh! The controls in this game, man. I mean, they are tight now that I know what to do, but they're just not the type that I let. No, I'm just complaining. They're fine. The controls are fine. I'm just being a little bitch. That's what's happening here. Okay, so we need to wait till this guy's at the pinnacle. No! See? Okay. See, like, I want to hold... All right, if this makes sense to anybody, let me know. But I want to hold down the trigger as I jump. It just feels like the Super Meat Boy mechanic of sort of holding down whatever button to be faster. It feels like that for this, but that really just hinders you because then you hold on to ledges that you don't want to. Now, is there any way for me to get over here, unless we do one of these things? I feel like there's definitely a secret up there. Why would there be a platform, you know? But how would we get up there? Let's try bouncing off this guy on the, the pinnacle. It's not going to work for sure, but... How would we get over there? I feel like there's for sure a secret. We could just grab that, but it's just a little bit too high. Okay, yeah, so we need to jump over the edge and then grab onto the spike. Like this? Ugh! All right, we're going to give it one more try, ladies and gentlemen. Ah, oh, this one's the most annoying one. Okay, we got it. Then over here, then up here, then up here. Then we stand right on this one. Wait till he's at the top. Go boing. We can just jump over there, too. Yeah, that spike is a bitch and a half. But I feel like I can do it. Well, of course I can do it. It's just going to take some time. Okay, okay. One more try. One more try. I promise. That's it. 
I keep from okay that's it I'll see you guys in a second okay there we go now we just need to exit the level which yeah I figured that would happen uh screw this tomb uh no I don't want to give up it's easy. I just keep messing myself up by holding the triggers, like I said, because it, it drops you. That's the mechanic. It oh, man. Okay. Oh, oh. Okay, got it. Yeah, it drops you. Oh, I really do not like this one. <laughs> I really don't. But again, I'm being a little bitch. I need to just get good, right? That's what all the kids say. That's what I need to do. I need to get good. Seriously, though, I don't like this one, um, because you, you have to grab the thing perfectly. Like that, and it's just like it's just really annoying. All right, we're gonna give it one more try since I started recording again because I thought I had it, but then I knew, should have known that I would mess it up. Oh, okay, good, 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 good. Here we are, and boom, boom, yeah. Okay, all right. Now I'm gonna press the right trigger. Okay, good. Now, I'm still holding the right trigger, and I feel like if I let it go, I'm gonna fall to my death. So. God, I hate this one. Oh my god. All right, one more. One more. This game is definitely rage quit inducing. <laughs> I don't like to give up though, as I've said, so that's why we're still on this stupid screen when I'm doing a let's play. I could just keep moving. I could just say, "Well, guys, yeah, we're going to we're going to let that one go, you know. We're going to we're going to just take a breather. We're going to do some namaste-esque yoga or something and uh, we're going to be good." But no, I need to oh, oh, oh. I will see you guys when I complete this level. Fuck this level. All right, now if I'm right, there's actually a better trick to this. As soon as we fall over there to the left, we can hold to the right and we'll actually land on that little alcove like this. No! <laughs> it still didn't do it. Oh man. Oh man, it's one of those that seems so simple and it is simple for sure. I told myself, like, just keep recording until you get it. You're not gonna... Uh, this this one's gonna drive me crazy, ladies and gentlemen. I, I hate this one. Like, I legitimately do not like it. It's so tight where you have to land. It's, like, ridiculous. I've tried this probably a total of, like, I don't know, 40 times by now. Oh, and I jumped too fast. Oh, and I... No. Come on. Yes, we saved it. Okay. Okay. All right. We got it. We got it. Now I just need to do exactly what I've done before. Just get no, I waited too long. Okay. Alright, for the love of God, just get me out of this level, please. Just need to escape with my life. And we're out of here. God. That one was not that difficult, but I just kept ruining it for myself. Okay. Alright, we're good. We're good. Okay. Now, any secrets on this one? I'm not seeing any. We've definitely missed some mega tumors because it's been too long since we've gotten one. But oh well. This one doesn't seem as hard bounce off these guys easier said than done okay we got yeah we have to do a really really tight bounce though oh all right oh there we go okay now it looks like we need to bounce off this guy again to get over to the left side damn it I overshot it okay and then up and then up oh. Okay, we do need to bounce to the, to the other side, though, because this guy falls back down. And then... Come on, man! Where is he? All right, so boom. Okay, all right. We hit the left side. Yeah, can you guys hear the rage quit in my voice? Boom. Yeah, we're not high enough, though. Okay, boom and boom. I mean, do we need to... Feels like we might not be high enough at all. Or... Nope, there we go. Okay, now we need to jump up to that hook right above... Me. Whoa, 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 where'd he go? Okay, well, he just dipped down, but that's okay. He should be able to... Oh, 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 that's a safe spot. All right, so I think we need to go over here, then boom, boom, boom. And we need to come back to get that tumor. Why did he just dip out? That was weird. Okay, yeah, we need to do that and then just complete the level again. Shouldn't be too hard. Up, 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 over here at the safe spot. Then hook, then up, then we're good. Okay, any secrets over here, though? Nope. All right, and here we are, Overflow 19, ladies and gentlemen. We're going to end this up. What is that? Okay, so this guy brings the smog. If I stay here, I still die. So we're going to die over and over. Actually, we'll just go over here. All right, ladies and gentlemen, we're going to end this episode here. Man, yeah, this is, uh, you can hear the inner rage coming out every so often. 
Ah, uh, this is that type of game. This is exactly the reason I don't mess around with Super Meat Boy, because it would be one thing if it had, like, I don't know, 50 levels or so, really well-detailed quality levels, but I know Super Meat Boy is like this game. It has a ton of these smaller levels, some of which can get really frustrating. This game reminds me of a game called N+, uh, back on the Xbox 360 Arcade, and yes, I know there, that it was a Flash game before that, which I did play, but I played the most of N+, on the Xbox 360 Arcade, and it was a lot like this, some very frustrating levels, but I like that one a lot better than this, if I'm being honest. Um, but we'll see if I come around. Anyways, we're going to end this episode here, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you guys so much for watching, and I will see you in the next episode. Bye-bye.